Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to the Manhattanville Organic Community Garden. My name is Professor Maestro, but some of you may know me by a different name, Hera's mom. So yes, I'm Hera's mom, and I also happen to work at Manhattanville College, which is right across the street from your school. Since we are so close to each other every spring and for four years now, we invite children from your school to garden with us. Together, we learn a few things about growing healthy and yummy veggies, and overall, we learn to enjoy and respect nature. As we are all facing quite an unusual situation this year, where most of us are probably spending a great amount of time at home, I didn't want to miss the opportunity to share with you our love for plants and nature. I also invited a special guest to take you on a virtual tour to the garden so that you get a taste of it, all from the safety of your own homes. Not far from Purchase School, there is a little garden. Follow me, I will show it to you. It is surrounded by a forest and has everything you need to garden. It even has a chapel with a tower that reminds me of Rapunzel's. Froggies are still hibernating in the mud down in the pond. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Would you like to see what it looks like? Come in. Today, we're going to help plant some peas and radishes. You can help too. Oh, cool. They have a strawberry patch. First, we have to clean the garden bed. It has straw and brown leaves. They use them to cover and protect the soil and plants underneath when it was really cold. You may want to turn the soil to help bring some air in it. Next, we choose the seeds we want to put in. We make holes spacing the seeds so they are not crowded. Last, we cover them with soil again. They are so tiny, I'd better not drop them. So maybe this gave you ideas about fun things you can do. From growing a plant at home, starting a garden using recycled containers, or using some of your own backyard space. Maybe you already have a garden and want to try something new. Whatever it is that you decide to do, feel free to experiment with it. Use plants you haven't grown before. Try edible flowers. See if you can spot bugs that visit your garden or birds. You can even start your plants indoors. Even a container by a sunny window, window will do. And overall, have fun with it. Enjoy being outdoors. Breathe in some fresh air. And don't forget to water. By the way, do you remember what plants need to grow nice and strong? Have fun, everyone. And keep looking out for all the things changing around you in the garden. And don't forget to take pictures. Two weeks later... Look, peas are coming out. Radishes will be coming shortly after. By the way, when you are eating a pea, what part of the plant are you eating? A root, a stem, a fruit, or a seed? What about a radish? And before I go, I wanted to share something else with you. Next week, we're celebrating Earth Day. On April 22nd. And this year, it is the 50th anniversary. It is extremely important to take care of our environment. We need it. From the earth we breathe, to the water we drink, to the food we eat. It also rewards us with beauty and joy. More info on the garden. Happy gardening. Bye. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you.